Julia Staff, Assorted, Rappaport, Coquel, Klein, Manolo, Manolo, Brody, Stearman, Panama, Spiler, Silver, Sharashevsky, Cohen, the other Muller, D. Muller, Heinemann, Sakalarchi, and Jeff Kellowitz. company. Yes, this is Bundy speaking. You need two statues? Um, three statues, right? By nine o'clock tonight, that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. sorry. $30,000? Nine o'clock tonight sounds fine. All right, we'll be there in New York. We're gonna get on the next flight. Zundi. We need three. We can't make the statues. We gotta be the statues. We gotta be the statues. It's thirty thousand dollars. Where's Lundy? Lundy. We have three statues. We need. We are gonna cover for the fake statues. We need two tickets. We need three tickets to New York by tomorrow. Please take care of that, Lundy. Hello. Yes, we need three tickets to New York. You have three. Right away. You only have two? Okay. Okay, we'll take two, yeah. Yeah, bye-bye. Hey, what is he going to You only have two. You only have two tickets. We got to get all three of us on. It has to be now. Brundy. What are we going to do? We got to get inside that trunk. You're going to be dead. We'll get him on as a funeral. All right? Let's get to the airport. <laughs> You're gonna be dead. Don't cry. Okay, Black's Airport. <laughs> Uh, you keep the safety on as the flight. Make sure you keep it out of the way to the compartment. Turn the Just pull out. Turn the Just keep it closed. I had to go. 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 Keys? What are you doing? Why are you trying to chill? Why are you trying to chill? Just keys. Just keys. Okay. I need all my my pacemaker. <laughs> I never been on an airplane before.
store that they need a statue for. Yes. Let's get a little set up. Ready? Well, they have a costume of a mummy already. I don't know what we're supposed to be, but just... Oh, no, the owner's coming. Well, what do you hear? What do we have here? We have one. Where is he from? Bulgaria. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Refugee motif. Beautiful. And wow, this guy must be from China. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Well, let's see what these guys do. Let's see what we could
new clothes. You know what that means. You gotta make a shakiano on new clothes. Is there any customers in the store? <coughs> Someone's coming, customer. So what? Stupid airport. Please! Shopping here. Party 
like a white tea party, cause a white tea party don't stop. Ain't no party like a white tea party, cause a white tea party don't stop. There ain't no party like a white tea party. The Shady Acres Institute for Mental Health. <laughs> Time for bed. Lights out. It's been a long day. Good night, boys. Two hours later. Up, 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 up. We have a special program for you this evening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, please wake up. Special events planned today. <laughs> you think they're going to have... Ice cream and a singer like last time, huh? What's that? They're, they're not that crazy? Why are you so grumpy this morning? Oh, you didn't sleep well? You think I slept well? You tossing and turning on my shoulder? Talking about some guy named Richard in Chicago? What are you, nuts? Are you retarded? I should sleep on the floor? Maybe you should sleep on the floor! Oh, you're sorry? <laughs> Me too. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> How dare you yawn? <laughs> and you take away our precious oxygen. Don't you know the world? There's not many O2 left. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know what we're up against? <laughs> what is your nuts? Are you retarded? <laughs> I need all the troops to come from the east and then bring me stuff from the west. The evil tree will attack from the water. Bring from the water. The ship from the water. And then I need everything to come. We'll get those oxygen grabbers. We will destroy them all. And you and may God be with us and he will help us and God will be on our side I will do no such thing I will dare if you're more to up to my name in vain do you know who I am? do you know what I'm capable of? I could squash you like a bug in the hands of a crazed child in a minute you will all bow before me <laughs> alright go on <laughs> Gentlemen, your motivational speaker is now here to see you. Gentlemen, good evening! My name is Matt Foley. I'll be your motivational speaker today! Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Stephen Myers, DDS Esquire, Rabbi Extraordinaire. Let me tell you something about myself. First of all, I'm divorced several times. Excuse me. Former alcoholic. And still very overweight. But here I am to motivate you people. Let me tell you a few stories. Let me tell you a story about Fred the Nutcase. Fred was a nutcase. Fred used to drool. Fred, uh, Fred talked to a man on his shoulder. Fred used to like to throw things. At first, he was throwing food. Then he started throwing back a couple of drinks. Then he threw up. Then Tori got thrown in a shack down with the Polacks. Next story. Let me tell you about Janice. Janice was age 37. She was all so nuts. Janice thought she was Queen Esther. Janice only wore one shoe on her left. But you know where she ended up? Let me tell you, she's now peeling potatoes in a shack down with the Polak. Oh, I thought so bad. Okay. So let me tell you something. What do you men want to be when you grow up? You, what do you want to do? 
I would like to create uh, I would like to create a world where the no trees are cut down, where the Amazon is flourishing and the rainforests create a uh, two for everybody to breathe, everybody even the Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> Even you! You weirdo with the thing on your cell phone! <laughs> Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something and listen good! Look, your dreams are all nice and no. fine! And it's good not to cut down trees! Cause if you cut down a fruit tree, it's bald dustless! <laughs> Let me tell you something else! Let me... Let me, let me, let me tell you something else. Let me tell you my It's a mad thing that the whole time. Those trees would have beautiful, love them, and they wouldn't have the tops all split. That's not kosher. Let me tell you something else. You have, if we'd have your forests, we'd have a rubbish with knees more than the berries. And I'm gossip that three branches all come out of one spot. But you know what your dreams are going to get you? What? You're going to be Jack Squad! <laughs> You're going to be living plain no. cheesy in a shack down with the cola. Where do they find these nuts? <laughs> you, what do you want to be? Well, you know what I am? I rule the world! I go right through China and it's mine because a melon can go right through anything. Does not have to pass by. I can go right through Africa and destroy all of them and all the Kahalas can jump over the graves because a Kahalas, a Melech, a Kahalas can jump over a grave to go see a guy in Shemelech. I am doing the whole world a favor by owning it for the mother of friends. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about your mother. Let me tell you something about your mother. She dropped you many, many times. He's a shack down with the polos. <laughs> you sir, what, what? What are you gonna be when you grow up? Die, mere mortal. Die. 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 What are you doing? Die. What are you doing? No. What are you doing? No. 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 Give me this. Give me this. <laughs> you are nuts! And you know what you're gonna be God over? Yeah, you guessed it right! You're gonna be picking your toenails in a shack down with the pole <laughs> Let's get out of this assailant! Let's get out of here for once! We can do it! Let's go! Okay. 
to be continued! Ah, so Larry McLean, how can I help you? Well, I've heard you have a toy machine. Can I use it? You like to use my time machine? Ah, of course. Yes, I'd like to get out of these 1800s. I'm sick of it. Let's go further and further. Is this it right here? Yes, that's it as well. What year would you like to go to? I would like to go real far. How about 2002? 2002. Well, I could do that, but I cannot promise you the exact location. Okay, how does this thing work? Well, step on the side right over here. This is the gas. When you get to 2,500 kilowatts, you step on that pedal right there, then press this button over here. All right, here we go. Well, there it is. Everything pretty much looks the same. Nothing Learning Torah all the time. And I don't understand the building going. I, don't, I just don't understand. You're a rabbi. You look like a rabbi. Rabbi. I don't understand the Vilna Gaon. That's funny, neither do I. Just yesterday, he borrowed two eggs from me, and he wouldn't return them. I haven't gone back yet. <laughs> but I... Let me tell you something about the Vilna Gaon. Just yesterday, he came over to me, and he asked me, how are you doing? And I told him I was doing good. But he said to me, why are you telling me you're doing good if you were doing bad yesterday? So I was confused, so I told him, Yesterday, I was feeling bad. I answered back. I said, yesterday, I was feeling bad. Today, I am feeling good. So what's your problem? <laughs> okay, so yesterday you were... I did, yesterday. Yesterday yes, you were... All right, listen, uh, Rabbi, the halacha is that if the rabbi wants to talk, I have to let you go first because you're my rabbi and I have to respect my elders. Think about what I told you. He said... Today, you're doing good. Yesterday, you're doing bad. So I said, I got better. <laughs> okay, so, so let's go. Uh, Chazar. Okay. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Rabbi. Right. I'm good, brother. That's just interesting. I can't believe he knew the kid of the goat. He's my neighbor. Could you spare a dime? Could you spare a dime? Are you crazy? Do you think I would give you my entire life savings? Get out of here! <coughs> People in 2002 are mighty selfish. Oh. Well, they do dress a little different. No. Oh. oh. Okay. I'm gonna just try to get along here. Hello there. Yo, what's up, my brother? I hardly resemble you at all. You're much taller than me, and I'm much shorter. How can I be your brother? You don't get on with me, my homeboy. Your homeboy? I don't think I've ever been to your house. Do I look like a slave to you? <laughs> <laughs> my head one messed up man right there, guys. You know, let me teach you something about these two guys here, man. This guy over there. He is the sickest basketball player ever. He's sick, wait, call a doctor, get him off of here. Why is he playing sports if he's sick? I don't care what you're talking about. The man's the fattest man, fattest dog in town. Fattest? He's quite skinny. I think you're fatter than he is. <laughs> and he hardly looks like a dog. I don't have any... <laughs> 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 Why don't you just go play a game against him and stuff everything you got? And stuff me? Do I look like a turkey to you? I'm getting out of here! I've got to find somewhere else better to get. That was scary. Well, this is interesting. It looks like. Can't my nephew? Can't my nephew Jim? It's still here! <laughs> Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Don't tell me. Baby Klein! You're still here? You built that over 200 years ago!
Chicago. Don't you think it's time for a new one? Oh wait, what's this here? The all-out basketball game is still going on too? Is it that sharp play again? That's the 428,000 million times played! Oh, well, it's still a close game, I guess. 4,003 to 4,001 is not bad. <laughs>